Brennan and today I'm doing my November favorites and I'll be doing beauty, food, and then other than entertainment like music and TV shows like that. And I have a lot more than last month which is kind of good depending if you like long videos. But I'm just going to get straight into it because I don't want this video to be too long. Okay, so the first beauty thing is... Again, some of these you might have seen in past videos, but I just knew that I like them a lot. So, the first thing is this Maybelline New York, the Rocket Volume Express Mascara. I like waterproof because I can do whatever I want. I can go swimming, I can cry, I can do whatever. Just like that. You've probably seen this before if you've seen any of my favorites videos like that. And then the next thing is something I just bought this month and you probably haven't seen in my videos before. And it's the Little Black Beauty Book Festive Every Day thing. And I got this at Giant Tiger. If you're wondering, that's just a Canadian store. So if you're wondering, then that's where you can get it. And it just has all the, it has 48 colors. And it was like, it was 12 bucks. And it's, I think it's, I like it a lot. I'll show you my favorite color. Right, okay, how do I show you this? Um, right there. It's a really pretty color right there. And they have like all these different shades of these colors. The only color that I haven't found is red and of course like yellow. Like I mean like normal everyday types of colors that you'd put on your eyes is yellow. So I definitely recommend this. I've only used it a few times because I got it at the end. But I really wanted to show you guys so you'd know have like a good thing. If you get it, you have good things for the holidays. I'm sorry about this lighting, but it's dark here, so... I think it's only like 5 o'clock, so that sucks. So this next thing, I really wanted to show in my last favorites video, but I forgot. Well, it's the best makeup remover I've ever tried. Apparently the last one I used was really bad. If this one's it's just like normal, I don't really know. But it's from L'Oreal Paris. It's skin expertise and I think what it means by that is like it's for waterproof stuff like lips and ma it says eyes and lips so when you put it on your eyes like you rub on your eyes it like ma leaves your eyes really like moisturized or something like that yeah it's called the waterproof gentle makeup remover eyes and lips and it's non-greasy I'm not sure if you can tell but there's two layers there's the well now I mixed it up but there's blue and there's see-through and it says that the the dark phase, which is the blue, enriches with enriched with soft oils, e efficiently removes waterproof and long-lasting makeup. And then the clear phase, very gentle lotion, which provides a pleasant feeling of freshness, quick and easy makeup removal, which leaves no film on the eyes, suitable for sensitive eyes and contact lens wearers, which I am. So. I definitely recommend this. It, I just got it at like a grocery store, so you can like be getting groceries and then pick this up if you want. I like it. And then you just mix it up and then put it on the cotton pad or something, and it works really well. And that's, I've been using it all month and a little bit last month, so I'm almost out, so I'll have to pick some more up. And then this next thing is kind of a duo only, I don't think it's a duo. I just found them in the same place, again, at the grocery store. And it's the... The first thing, I, I think I showed these things in my last month thing, but I, I realized how awesome they are this month. So, well, I real, realized how awesome this one is this month. Well, it's the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Cleanser, and this one, and it wakes you up. This one's vitamin C and ginseng. And I got, it's just the orange one. It smells like grapefruit or something. And I realized how good it was when I had to wake up super early, and then I washed my face with this. And I was, and I have to be pretty awake to put my contacts in, so I used this. I just washed my face with this, and I was like completely awake, except for like the tiniest bit that is hard to wake up right away. But this works really well if you have to wake up early every morning, and I like it, and it's just refreshing. So I like that, and those are all the beauty favorites for this month, and the next category is food. I only have two things, but they're both festive, so. Okay, the first thing is these, I went in through them in a few days, and the, they're the Vortman Holiday Treats, and they just look like this. Like there's a Christmas tree, a leaf, a pretzels, they just look like that. I have none left, so I can't show you the actual cookie. 
I like all beauty gurus have been talking about these in the winter months. They always talk about this. It's they're the um what are they called? The Hershey's peppermint kisses, and I've tried those before, like once because my aunt goes to America sometimes and gets them, but I don't think they have them in Canada. So, but I found a dupe for them at the bulk barn. You can get as much as you want in this big bag. It costs more, of course, if you get more. I'm not sure if they have them in America, but I got these things. They're the, they're the, just look for these at them, and they just look like kisses. They have these little, um, what's it called? Ugh! sprinkles at the bottom and they taste really good they taste exactly like those things like the tiniest bit different but they're they're good and you can get like the heat you can fill this bag if you want so i might do that before they take them out of their inventory because after christmas they probably will but those things are the best and the next the in that's all for food. Next is like random ones, which includes candles, um, clothes, anything that smells good, all this, those type of things. I'll start with things down here so I don't forget. Uh, okay, so the first things are these boots. I'm not sure if they're very expensive or not because, again, I get lots of them for orthotics, so they're free because of insurance. And it's these boots. They're just like this, with this fuzziness on the side and this little button. This, the button doesn't do anything, it just looks good, cool. And they're really fuzzy inside. And uh, they're from Biotime. And I definitely recommend those for the winter and months. And I even wore them in fall, just because I felt like wearing warmer things. Because my feet were getting cold. So those are my, that's my first clothing thing. Well, first random thing. And then... Um, I think I showed this in one video because it's my Halloween costume, but it's also a onesie. And it's just this Eeyore onesie from Amazon. And it just looks like this. Let's keep going, keep going. Like that. And it's really loose and cozy and fleecy and warm. And I've been sleeping in this. And it feels like you're sleeping in a blanket. Like a... Kind of like a, um, one of those things with the blankets with arms, only it has feet too. So, that I've been liking. And this next thing is something that my dog, I think, hopefully has been liking and I've been liking. It's this dog backpack. I to talked about it in the furry friend tag. It's just this backpack and has these little holes for the, for air movement inside. And then it has this, so just like this and then you just zip that up and your dog goes inside and his blankets in there it doesn't come with the blanket and then here is a water bottle holder and a little pocket and then it's a backpack and then just open it's really sturdy which it just should be because it was like quite expensive but I got this because I wanted to take him trick-or-treating but I forgot if what it didn't come in in time but I still like it and then it, it unzips like this and then you can just zip it back up or unzip it and it's really sturdy and pretty awesome so those are all the bigger things and the next things are smaller but I'll just show you okay the first these things are I've been enjoying all of month. actually I put them up November 1st and you might be able to guess just from that clue and it's my Christmas decorations well this thing I just got I'm gonna wear it but I just put it there for now so first of all I have these Christmas lights that I've been liking they're super bright and they're normally $21 can you guess how much I got them for just leave a comment down below right now I'll give you a second eight dollars because they were last year's stock at Canadian Tire and they were selling them for super cheap even though they said $21 on the little label thing they were only eight and there's and we got like a whole lot of them it wasn't just like one mistake it was even asked the lady and she said that it was last year's stock and they're super bright they don't get hot at all so it's okay to have them on la inside and I've been liking that a lot and this last thing I'm pr I was pretty proud of myself when I got this Okay, don't knock stuff over. Um, it's the this thing. It's this stuff right. This right here is from the dollar store. Okay, if you don't know what the dollar store is, it's, it's called Dollarama, but I call it the dollar store. And it's this little mini tree. And again, a good deal. It was like ten dollars for like all this. Like I got the little tree, 
And then I got this snow spray that to spray on it to make it look snowy. I got these little mini lights that fit it perfectly, and this little mini star that fit it per that fits it perfectly for like less than ten dollars. So. If you're looking for a little mini Christmas tree, this is absolutely perfect for your nightstand or something. It was exactly what I was looking for okay. when, I, when I got it. And I really, 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 really like that. So I definitely recommend getting that if you are looking for a not too expensive tree. The actual tree was only two bucks. This is another one of my favorites. It's a little snowman blanket from Giant Tiger. So the next thing is another thing my dog's been enjoying too. It's um well sometimes my dog gets fussy at night and he starts like whining for no reason. It's not that like he has to go out. He doesn't need food. He doesn't need water. He's good. It's just he doesn't. I don't know why, but he just decides he doesn't want to be in his crate. So I what I've been doing. I I heard that lavender helps soothe dogs. So I. I've had got this last year just for myself for a pillow spray. It's the Sleep Spray from Bath and Body Works. It's the Lavender Vanilla Pillow Mist, and it's it's really awesome. I I used it a lot last year, but then I forgot to use it, so I still have lots left. And I the other day, Multi was being whiny, and then I just sprayed it right in front of his thing because I didn't want to spray it in his eyes or something like that. And he just a few seconds later, like thirty seconds later, he he had laid down and he had fallen asleep. So, if you have like a fussy dog, get this. It's also good for separation anxiety, since lavender is supposed to soothe dogs. So that I recommend. And especially, just get the lavender one because that's what dogs like. And then this next thing is another Bath and Body Works thing, and I didn't like it last year when I got it, but now this year I actually like it a lot. It's the Twisted peppermint one, only it's the one with the snowman, not the candy canes. And um, I didn't like it because it smelled musky. This year it smells a bit better, but today it doesn't smell so good. The other day I liked it though. And um, it just smells like. Hmm. Huh. Okay, a fragrance featuring merry and bright peppermint with touches of vanilla and sugary musk. I don't smell the sugar, but there is definitely musk in it. It's the is the perfect companion for a very snowy day. So it just looks like this one. I got it last year, so I know they've changed their packaging this year. Because it was just there. And, yeah. But, so you may not recognize it, but they have... This one's, I think, different than the one with the candy canes on it. I don't really know, but I've been liking this this month. And then the, this is the last um, other thing. And it's these... Thing is another giant tiger buy, and you can probably get them other places too. But it's these slipper socks. Sorry if they're a little hairy, but they just look like this. They're super Christmassy, and they're knit, and they so it just looks like regular knit socks. Like, yeah, regular knit. Fuzzy knit, 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 knit. Fuzzy, and it's just they're super soft and warm. And I thought I might slip in them because they have no grips, but I don't. So that's a good thing. And I've been using these a lot. The only problem is they get caught on a lot of things. So like right here. And they're only $8, which I think is a good deal. So these I've been liking. And they have little reindeer on them, so they're Christmassy. Those are nice. And then that's the last thing for that section. And the last section is entertainment, which includes shows music, all that kind of stuff. So the first thing is a... First thing I'll show you, I'll play one song from it. It's, um... Hmm. Oh, it's the Taylor Swift Christmas album. I bought it last year. She came out with it, like, years and years ago. But I bought it last year, and then I started playing this on Halloween, right before I went to a treating. I know that's kind of bad, but I just couldn't wait. And so... It's the Taylor Swift Christmas album. It's not really have doesn't really have a name. It just has all these songs. It has Last Christmas, Christmases When You Were Mine. Yeah, that's what it's called. Santa Baby, Silent Night, Christmas Must Be Something More, and White Christmas. And I'll quickly play a little bit of Santa Baby for you. Okay, 
that's all I'll play for that one. And I've been liking all those songs, that's just one of the one I decided to play. And then the last one is a Christmas classic. It's Have a Holly Jolly Christmas by Burl Ives, and I'll play you that one. I'm gonna play. Okay. just sounds like Santa's singing Have a Holly Jolly Christmas so that is the last music thing. Those are all the different Christmas all my favorites for this month and yeah I'm excited for Christmas. Oh no it's not all my favorites. I have one last favorite. It's this cup I got at Walmart just on again November 1st because I went Christmas decoration shopping that day and it's this cup so it's from Cool Gear, and you can find it at Walmart probably still. And it's just like this, and then you unscrew that, and there's this little snowman snow globe. And uh, no, not snowman, a uh, little bear. And you just screw that in, and there's water. And I've been liking that. And there's also have green ones like that have different a different character at the bottom, and they also have a red one. Which has a different character at the bottom, but I like the blue better because then I can use it after Christmas too because it's not too Christmassy. So yeah, those that's the last favorite of mine. And tell me your favorites down below, and um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's two layers. There's the blue. Oh. <laughs> that's scary. Okay.